the second channel, man, and the beat from the intro is provided by Gummy Beats. There's a link in the description below that's going to take you to downloadpads.com. From there, you can find this particular beat tape because I'm live streaming it and get the contact information via Twitter. And if you holla at me to get some beats, tell them I sent you. But anyway, on to today's reply. Today's reply is to that code Audio Dope 5, and this definitely sounds like something that he's dished out multiple times over the years that he's been doing fucking music. Like, cause he's been doing music for a long ass time, man. He was once signed to fucking No Limit. That's how long ago this motherfucker's been doing shit. And he has never really changed his fucking formula. Like, what he's doing here is he's getting a dope ass beat. You can't take that away from him. And using the same flow, delivery type of lyrics that he always tends to fucking do. And that's one thing a lot of people always say they believe in, man. You get a dope beat, then half the song is already dope to begin with. In which he's been doing that for quite some time. I'll never knock that. His beat selection is damn good. But his lack of progression for as long as he's been doing it, it disturbs me, dude. It's like he's so locked into the formula that he's been doing for all of these years that he doesn't even attempt to get better at the shit. I'm not saying change his style, I'm not saying change his types of music, man. I'm saying get better at it instead of just continuously doing the same exact fucking thing. Still to this day, he struggles with lyrics. Flow delivery, dude. He selects good beats and sometimes he makes some good songs with it, but he's never moved on from that. He's never gotten better from that. But seeing as though he built his fan base off of it and he is eating off that fan base right now, man, he'll never fucking change. It's already too late for him. I ain't mad at him, man, but I'm just saying that it's a little damn ridiculous that you could do this for all these fucking years and just naturally not get better, man. But anyway, on the ass down low pass, and KS South asks, how do I feel about the CD quality of that Kanye West all day? In which, I know there's a different outro and added verses and shit on there, man. But honestly, I feel the same about the track as when I did when I watched the live performance of it, man. So, I'm honestly not going to make a video about it. And Keiston says that the Beast is way better than that Beauty of Independence. And you know what? I wouldn't say way better, but it is better. It got me more tracks. I got two tracks off of this one and still only got one track off that Beauty of Independence. But I wouldn't say it's like way damn better. G-Unit is still underachieving in my eyes since they've returned you did, but yet it seems as though it's turning around. I hope you enjoyed the show. You can follow me at Twitter up there. And you can go to downloadpads.com, that's down there, to read today's article.